What's up, Chicklets? It's your boy Chicken back once again with another reaction video. It's time, man, bringing back Tom McDonald. Once again, you know, just dropped a new video called Withdrawals. Curious, man, I wanna see this one. So let's go ahead and dive into this. Let's not waste no time, man, and uh, see what Thomas has for us. The doctor said to talk to him. If I wanted to get off my meds, but I never called his office in. Focus or the bottle nice. in the garbage can. I'm stuck in this apartment and I'm angry. Okay. All right. Well, since we got that little ad break right there, um, yeah, his vocals sound really nice, man. Just coming in here. So I like that. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Pull it. In, pour the bottle in the garbage can. I'm stuck in this apartment and I'm anxious like the cops are here. I tried to call like all my friends. None of them are answering. Is this the moment where I can't control it? Got no appetite, I guess the party's over. I can't sleep at night and I keep rolling over. Cause my skin is itchy and the paranoia got me worried sick and it is so annoying. I've been throwing up, it looked like motor oil, but I chose to quit and now I- Going through like the emotions and the feelings and you know, everything you kind of going through, you know what I mean? When you're going through the emotions and the physical pain and feelings of having withdrawals from a, you know, some kind of drug or, or alcohol, some kind of thing that you was you were addicted to. Uh, but yeah, he's getting very descriptive and detailed with the lyrics, man. So I like that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of pain, man. A lot of pain here. Let's go. When I need a donor, liver failing from the liquor pouring. While the room is spinning, it ain't vodka soda. What is almost killing me is being sober. Talk about pitfalls. Surrounded by brick walls. This is what kids call. Bruh. Uh, I love the emotion there, though, man. I love the emotion. It's like, it's like... It's killing me to be sober, you know, like, like it's almost feels worse than the actual damage that the drugs or the alcohol, like that, what that's doing to you is actually like physically killing you and actually taking and shortening your life. But it's like, you're so like mentally trained that it's like just trying to be sober or trying to adapt and like learn how to be sober is it's a struggle and it's a battle, you know, and it feels like that's the worst part. Like, that's the thing. And this whole thing, you know, withdrawals, that's how it is, so. <sighs> okay. Deleted every number Love from my phone. Right there, I'm staying home. Really wish that I was drunk with all my friends. I'm gonna beat it or I won't. And overdose. Really wish that I was high with all my friends. It's like, when you're not doing it, you're like, kind of like, especially if it's like, you know, a habit. It just... It's just ingrained in you. It's a part of you, you know. It's just like, hey, this is just what I do, you know. You know, for example, cigarettes. You know, I, I was fortunately able to stop smoking cigarettes um, eight years, seven years ago. So, uh, but that's one. That's one addiction I did. I was able to beat. And I remember that was like definitely, you know, it was it was hard. You know, it was hard because I smoked for a long time. I smoked cigarettes for a long time. But it's like when you, you know, it's a habit. It's like I eat. And I'm used to like, all right, just eight, let me go smoke a cigarette. And it's just like, this is just a part of it. And if you don't have that, your mind is constantly like going back to it, you know? It isn't fair to tear with this. Addiction place my parents in. I'm scared repair will never fix. The voluntary negligence, the wear and tear my errors did. They almost had to bury me. Is this the moment where I screw up and relapse? Waste all my money on rehab? Can't take a pill from the doctor to relax? Lash out in anger whenever I react? Feel like a weak man, I don't wanna be that. Living every day to get a buzz on the weekend. I'm in the deep end, fighting with demons. Trying to stay- uh, Hold on, man. Frick, bro. I'm loving his vocals and his song, man. <laughs> so it's like, like I'm battling and trying to to fight this this demon and this, this, this uh, addiction. And, you know, like the struggle of you know, not having it in my life and always constantly worrying about it is like, man, am I gonna, you know, I don't know, because you know, you constantly, you know, like I said, you're always thinking about it. So it's like, am I gonna fall off the deep end? Like, it, like it's a matter of time. It's like, especially if you, you know, you, you've been trying for a long time and all that, so. And I don't wanna be that, living every day to get a buzz on the weekend. I'm in the deep end, fighting with demons. Trying to stay clean, I just really need a reason. My bones are shaking in my hands and feet. I see my rib cage, but I can't eat. I still wake up panicking. Yeah, so let's get past that bar, man. He said, trying to stay clean, I'm, I'm just trying to find a reason. You know, and uh, ultimately, like, I think that might be the key, you know, to uh, trying to fight, you know, for uh, against the addictions and things like that, because. Like, I think if you have like a strong enough reason to, like maybe your health or something like that, 
then uh, that could be some major driving factor, you know, uh, to help you. But uh, yeah, anyway, sorry. So I can't sleep. I just sit in the bathtub and try to breathe. Talk about pitfalls surrounded by brick walls. This is what kids call oh, withdrawal. Man. Deleted every number from my phone. I'm staying home. Really wish that I was drunk with all my yeah. friends. I'm gonna yeah, I love that emotion in there, man. The crying and stuff, you can, you can hear it. Tom's been doing a really good job with that kind of stuff. It's just adding that extra layer of emotion into his, his uh, lyrics and his, his, um, and his songs, you know, and his vocal performance. I beat it or I won't an overdose. Really wish that I was high with all my friends. I've never felt this bad before. I don't know if I'll make it. Don't have the strength to get off the floor right now. But I'm hoping and praying. Hard like that. My whole life I wanted more. This might be the end. But now I've had too much fun. It's over now. I loved what I hated. Deleted every number from my phone. I'm staying home. Really wish that I was drunk with all my friends. I'm gonna be Man, this is this is really good, man. All right, so for one, Tom can sing, man. <laughs> he got some vocals on him, man. He got some chords. But uh, yeah, man, this is really nice song, very like emotional song, and it make you like think about you know your own stuff, your own battles, your own struggles. You know, um, I would love to hear you know comments in the comment section about like you know you know ideas and suggestions on like you know dealing with some kind of addiction. Or getting through it or you know getting over it you know I think like obviously you get extra outside help you know what I mean seek some help you know what I mean talk to people talk to your friends talk to your family members talk to professionals you know what I mean um, but yeah so yeah man yeah this is good man good job man this is nice Really wish that I was high with all my Deleted every number from my phone I'm staying home Really wish that I was drunk with all my friends I'm gonna beat it or I won't An overdose Really wish that I was high with all my friends Hey, man It's like, man, like Right now all I think about, all the only thing that's on my mind right now is just thinking about how I could be getting high, you know, like or how you know what the, the bad things I could be doing, those addictions, those bad things, and it just you know it makes you want to get back to it. But uh, yeah, man, shout out to Tom McDonald and Nova Rockefeller, man. You know what I mean. This woman always attached to Tom McDonald's videos, doing a great job, man, with the video work. Um, yeah, man, like the vocals in here was really what like kind of stood out to me. It, he definitely had that like emotional impact in this one, man. So, um, yeah, man, anybody, you know what I mean, going through stuff, you know what I mean, like definitely can help you uh, soothe the soul a little bit, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, that's why, you know what I mean? That's why, that's why we do this kind of stuff, you know? So shout out to them, man. Shout out to HOG fam, man. Y'all know what we do. Shout out to the Chicklets, man. Love, peace, chicken, grease. You guys, enjoy the reaction. Leave a like on this video. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I love you. You're amazing. You're great and perfect. Perfect. Just the way you are. Don't let nobody tell you any different. Good, better, best. Whoa. Hey, trying to get out of focus. Never let it rest, because I'm always focused. Until your good becomes your better, and your better becomes your best. And, oh, yeah. Dude.